Kim from Utah Daily. I'm here with Kevin Smith and his co-star, Jason Mewes. Tell me what a great guy I am, because I have two tickets to the party of the year. Check it out. Who'd you steal those from? I was invited. I worked on the movie, remember? And I was going to ask you to be my plus one. Too bad going with you is a minus 20. <sighs> Lexi, okay, let's race hell together like we used to, huh? I'm going with Paige Michaelchuk. <laughs> You're kidding me. The queen of Degrassi is taking the queen of the trailer park to the premiere? I prefer to be known as queen of Don't Need Jay. Never did. Hey, are you guys happy to be back in Canada? I am insanely happy to be back in Canada. Canada's motherland, Toronto, <laughs> cradle of civilization. Toronto is where they have that poutine crap that Lunchbox loves so much. Really, sir? In front of everybody, do you... Yeah, yeah, listen. You chose a Toronto premiere over an L.A. premiere based on food. Shop the flick, you know. Kevin Smith is being interviewed right there. What do you think he's saying? That tonight is going to be the greatest, most magical movie premiere ever? It better be. It's not every night we get to have our professional acting debut. Yeah, or have my music featured in a big Hollywood movie, which is why we're all going first class tonight. I'm talking stretch limos. You guys got a limo? Dibs on sticking my head at the sunroof. I am coming. Right, Paige? I'm sorry, and they only gave me two tickets. And I'm taking Hazel. Please, as if we were gonna bring her. Our limo's a skank-free zone. Did you just skankify my friend? Friend? More like pet project. Jealous much? No, I just don't get why you hang out with her. Funny, I was just asking myself the same thing about you. Enjoy the limo, I'll see you guys at the movie. Alex! Wait! You wanna go to the premiere? You said that. That's an invitation. It was really more of an observation. Like, you wanna go to the premiere? I thought you were serious. Whatever, I'm out of here. I'm not standing for your whole, I'm Alex, I'm gonna ignore everyone for a week act. So I wanted to go to a premiere once in my life. Crucify me. Grab a book or something. People see us, they'll definitely start to wonder. Who cares? I have tickets to the party of the year. Thank you, Mom. I'm warning you. Major devastation if you let me down. What if I let you down easy? I already have a date. With my stepdad. My mom has to stay home with my little brother. The thing is, Manny's in the movie. She's gonna be there, so... Yeah, no talking, no touching, no looking at each other. I know the drill. Just being under the same roof as you tonight is gonna be enough for me. Kevin, Jason, I'd like you both to meet one of Degrassi's finest teachers, Archie Simpson. Right on, sir. Wow. <laughs> wow, and I'm such a big fan. You know, Jane Simon and Bob Strike Back is one of my favorite movies. Thanks, man. Mr. Smith? Kevin? Kev. As I live and breathe, Paige Michaelton. How are you? Uh, Michael Chuck. 
Michael Chuck, you know what? My bad. We just always called you the busted leg girl, so. Not anymore. These will be the least brokenest gams on your red carpet. I'm sorry, did you just say gams? What 21st century teenager still uses the term gams? Uh, the kind who needs one more ticket to the premiere tonight. Could you spare a teensy-weensy extra golden ticket, Mr. Smith, please, for my friend? God, you're working me hard, aren't you? Just like a woman. You know what? I happen to have one of those teensy-weensy tickets right here, and it could be yours if you say about. Mr. Smith. Come on, you know I love it. Let me hear it. A boot. Mm. I melt. That's just so cute. You earned this. Just don't let me see it up on eBay, or else I'm gonna cut you out of the sequel, too. I can't think. Um, two? Yeah, Paige, uh, we had to trim your part down a little bit, so. And when I say a little bit, I mean com completely. <laughs> Was I that bad and unaware of my badness? No, no, hon, you were great, but it's just in the course of cutting a movie, stuff, you know, hits the editing room floor. When I was doing Jersey Girl, I cut J-Lo out of half the movie. I feel like I wanted to cut him out entirely, but then I just would have left that little kid, you know? I didn't see Jersey Girl. Really? Well, now I'm really glad that I cut you out of my movie. I'm just kidding. You know what? Please tell me you're still gonna come to the premiere. Yeah. Good. Everyone's gonna be there. Who do you think's gonna be, gonna be there? there? You think so? Yeah. Alanis is gonna be there? Oh, that's so ironic. Here. <laughs> and bring a guest. Kevin cut me out of the movie. Hence, I'm not going. So what, you're just gonna sit at home? I was thinking of lying, actually, uh, in bed with ice cream. Uh-uh. You're going. This isn't debatable. Paige, it's not like actress is part of your 10-year plan. Neither is humiliation. Me and you are hitting that red carpet tonight. And we're gonna make Kevin so regret cutting you out of that film, because we are going to look hot. And I don't mean updo pearls, pink prom dress hot. I mean hot. Hot. <laughs> Cut her out of the movie. Shark ass. Hey, just in case you didn't know, you look beautiful tonight, Em. Yeah. This actress was 19 when she got her first nomination for Best Actress in a Feature Film. Who was she? So. This is the part where everyone gets to see me cut from the movie. This is the part where you sit back and enjoy being here with me. Boys are too bloody stupid to make the grade down in the States, and your last hope is the school system of the Great White North, eh? You want to get out of grade 12? You better start learning what the metric system's all about. <laughs> I've got three words for you. Go to... Sir! There'll be no more cuss words out of you, you potty mouth mall rat. You're gonna learn the dual languages of my home and native land, and you're gonna savor my poutine! Because you're in Canada now, eh? <laughs> Jay, when I was born, Star Wars had already been out on video for 10 whole years. You're too old. You know there's laws to prevent it? I'm gonna marry Apollonia. She's the sugar in my maple, cheese in my poutine, the back in my bacon. The ick and pathetic. <laughs> Who knew Manny could actually act in Craig's song, Full On Rock? You're sounding suspiciously upbeat. Are you sure you're okay? It's a Hollywood premiere. Sue me for getting caught up in it. Well, the only thing I'm catching is a cab ride home for my hot date with Ben and Jerry. What kind of friend would I be if I let you bail on the hottest party ever? <laughs> Did 
This is the after party. This is the kitty version. The real party is through those doors. And it's invitation only, strictly VIP. I'm so about to be crashed. You really think he's gonna let you in? Uh, I I'm a close personal friend of Kevin. If he finds out that you didn't last in, you're gonna be in big trouble, pal. Huge. Uh, I can move myself. Thanks. Hey, you were great in the movie. <laughs> yeah, all five lines. Well, they were a great five lines. What are you doing? It's vodka. I'll only pour half. Don't. If you get caught, you'll be stuck in detention for weeks, and then I'll never get to see you. Well, you can see me tonight. Maybe someplace quiet and secluded. Theater lobby, 30 minutes. Manny! <laughs> hey. You were amazing. Really? You think so? Uh, did you stay till the end to hear Craig's song? Of course. Let's toast to Degrassi's celebrity couple. I did makeup on the movie. Do you mind if I cut through? Nice try, girly. Sorry I'm late. Some jerk blocked me in at the strip club. Again, the sign clearly says employee parking only. Oh, sweetie, I hope you didn't tie yourself out at work. You promised me some hot dancing. All right, then you go. Are you kidding? We're a couple hot chicks. Of course he's gonna fall for that. <laughs> Ladies. Ew. VIP does not stand for vastly icky poser. What are you doing here? It's my boy Mickey right there. Hey, you work security on the movie. Well, I saw your little girl on Girl PDA. Is that why you dumped me? Right. It had nothing to do with you hooking up with every skank in the ravine. Ah, and you're trying to get back at me by hooking up with every skank here. You do not call her that, ever. Hey, would you like to dance with me? Love to. Remind me to tell you how much I like your naughty side. Consider yourself reminded. Let's go. <laughs> There's somebody in here with us. at our own premiere, these chicks. Why aren't you and I out there doing some kind of erotically charged dance routine? We can, man. Let's do it. It was a rhetorical question. Dude, don't call him rhetorical. That's me. You're rhetorical. I need to go in there and face them. Don't. He's married to my mother, and he's in the theater necking with yours. Running in there won't fix anything. How would you know? Just do it, okay? You, you don't want to do anything until you've calmed down. Regret it. Believe me. I have to go. <laughs> Ever feel drunk without drinking? Is that why your shoes went AWOL? They were pinchy. I'm going to go get some water. I will get you some. 
so, this new lesbian thing you got going on. I like to watch. I like to punch, dream on. Lexi, Lexi, come on, why weren't you this adventurous while we were dating, huh? We could have had fun. You're disgusting. Oh, and you? Putting on a show for everyone? <laughs> you know, what makes you think tonight is about you anyway? It's not. It's about her. Yeah, thank you. Let me walk you home. Uh, but my shoes. Barefoot suits you, and besides, my place is on the way. I mom and her boyfriend are home, so just wait by the door. Mom, but I'm thirsty. Can I just get a drink of water? <laughs> no, I'm grabbing shoes, and then we're out of here immediately. Lexi? Hey. Who's your friend? Never mind, Mom. Just grabbing shoes. Hi. It's Nunez. I'm Paige. Paige. <gasps> the Paige? <laughs> I feel like I'm in the presence of royalty. You know that Lexi never stops talking about you? Really? Oh, little really? old me. Mom! Where's Chad? Oh, he passed out hours ago. I... Come sit. Can I get you something, darling? Can't diet anything, please. Paige, we have to go. Would you hold your horses, Lexi, and just let the girls sit a while? Oh, be a good hostess and get her a drink, eh? Looks like the party's just getting started, Ms. Nunez. Please, call me Emily. Emily? OK. So what was Lexi like as a girl? You know what? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Ki Lax, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm just kidding, hon. Emma, what's, what's going on? I'm making tea again. I'm crying again. I left something in the theater, so I went back in to get it, and that's when I saw you and her. Miss Hatzalakos. <laughs> what? We, we, we were just talking. Snake, I saw you kiss her. I don't know what to say. It just sort of happened, you know? Such a mistake. So you stick your tongue down the principal's throat by accident? Emma, quiet, please. You're gonna wake your mom. But why? Did you think it would be fun? Did, did you get to the party and want to act like a teenager again? Just give me a reason, Dad, please. Have you ever done something you weren't supposed to with someone you weren't supposed to be with? <sighs> Emma, I'm so ashamed. I won't blame you if you never want to speak to me again. But it's not about me. It's about Mom. And whether I'm going to tell her what I saw. Your mom go to bed? Yeah. She said to say goodnight. She's nice. Like mother, like daughter. But tonight was good. You're my lucky charm. <laughs> tonight was good. Paige. About before. When we were dancing. What about it? We were just having fun. No big deal, right? What do you mean you spent it all? I mean, I spent it all. What? I'm being a stupid Chad. I'm going to be home now. Go. Don't ever call me stupid. Where are you going? That's it, I'm Chad, out of here. where are you going? Will you stop it? Will you 
hold still and trying to help. Being here in your room just helps. It's quiet. I'm screaming, I'm smashing. Nobody should have to deal with drama of the shoved over the end table variety, day in, day out. Even me? Especially you. Paige, I'm in trouble. <laughs> this isn't related to any table collisions that happened tonight. It's a different kind of trouble. Um, okay, uh, speaking of, of, of trouble, uh, or not trouble, um, uh, you, you take my bed, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep downstairs on the couch. Paige. Nighty night, then. Who's the evil genius who made morning so friggin' bright? Oh, probably the same evil genius who decided that there should be school days after crazy movie premieres. Crazy? Is that the verb you're gonna use to describe last night? Adjective. And considering I voluntarily slept on the downstairs couch, crazy seems about right. You didn't have to sleep on the couch. You would have been safe in the room with me. We're gonna be late, and I hate being late, so you should, uh, you should get ready. Now, if I could just find my best pass, that would be absolutely brilliant. Paige. You know, the best people should really just, just give a, a, an implant or a, or a tattoo, and I could say... Paige! Hey. I'm Alex, your friend. Can you just talk to me? I can't even begin to process what happened last night. Not with our little sister act slut dance or the drama with your mom's boyfriend. You call that drama? I call that reality TV. That's not funny. This is not funny. There is a girl in my bed, Alex. You. It's like I woke up in some weird movie with subtitles, the kind of movie that I hate, and I can't deal with it, OK? I can't deal with you. All right. I'm just gonna go rub some toothpaste on my teeth. And then you can walk 20 paces ahead of me all the way to the bus stop. went in the VIP party and poof, never came back out. Um, I'm I'm not quite sure how to how to describe what happened exactly. Why? Did you meet somebody? You did. Is he famous? Would I know who he is? Famous, no, but um you might know who he is. Sorry to interrupt. The assembly's at four, so we should really start rehearsing that new cheer. You know, the big, thank you, Kevin Smith assembly? The one that you've written the new cheer for. You have written it, right? Sure, 
Hun, um, I've got it all worked out in my head. So let's meet back here at noon and I will have the most brilliantish cheer typed up and ready for rehearsing. Okay, great. When you asked for a ride, I thought you had something to tell me. I can't believe you let him keep that stupid motorbike. Oh, it's harmless in a midlife crisis sort of way. He looks happy. Mom, be honest, you look stupid. That bike was such a mistake. Sometimes you have to let people make mistakes. That's what love's all about. Emma? Emma, I know you hate me right now, not that I don't deserve it. For but... having an affair with the principal? I think you deserve just a drop of anger for that. Oh. It's not an affair, all right? It stopped the kissing. And I promise it'll never, ever happen again. I have to get to class. Bye, guys. Good morning, Emma. Don't talk to me. ask you a, a teensy question. Do you ever think about girls? Uh, interesting question. First thing in the morning. Now, did you miss the years that I dated your brother? But just because you're gay doesn't mean you can't think about girls every now and then, right? Are you trying to hook me up with someone? Oh, wicked. I mean, there's a girl out there who likes me. No, the object of female affections, pretty much me. You. Oh, oh, oh my, I, I knew it. It's Heather Sinclair. Oh, Paige, I've seen the way she looks ew. at you and... Double ew. No, it's... It's not Heather Sinclair. Alex. Hey. Hi. Hey, pull up a chair. Hey, you, you two still need to tell me about that VIP party last night. I think I'm gonna sit over here today. Oh. Oh. Alex. She kissed me last night. Morning, class. As you know, Kevin Smith will be visiting us today. I want you to take advantage of him being here and prepare some smart media questions for him. Waiting for someone? Oh, look. Here I am in an alley and a rat appears, just like magic. Found these under the table at the club. I thought maybe your new bestest girlfriend might want them back. Just give me the shoes and go away. First, I want you to tell me what it is you think you could possibly have in common with a stuck-up cheerleader. Sorry I took so long. I seem to have interrupted fun time with Jay, which looked kind of hot. Not. In fact, it's been canceled. Replaced by fun time with Paige. Alex, we need to talk. This can't happen. I'm not a, a lesbian. <laughs> and you think I am? Well, you're the one who kissed me. What are you, five? And for the record, you kissed me back. 
I'm not even supposed to like people like you, people who, who wear black with navy and who hate everything and everyone. I don't hate you. <laughs> even if you are one of the popular idiots who drinks lattes and reads stupid magazines and laughs way too loud. I have to laugh when I'm around you. I can't really help it. And I have to be better when I'm around you. I can't help it either. <laughs> Need a couple hands for your palms? What do you want? World peace, salami sub, and a chance to talk to my good friend, Hazy. We're not friends. So you don't want to hear my news, then? That page has gone the gay way. Excuse me? You heard me. Yeah, I saw your friend and my ex doing some seriously sexy dancing last night. So? You need to get out more. Girls do that stuff all the time. And I just saw Paige lay a big old smooch on Alex. You trying to tell me that's something that girls do all the time? I'm not getting involved in this. Listen, do you really think that Paige wants to end her distinguished high school career as the school lesbo? You're being disgusting. I'm being honest. And what about you, huh? Are you looking forward to those inevitable rumors about you and Paige? Is that how you want to be remembered? Paige, I need to speak to you. Kind of busy right now. I bet you'll be even busier later with her. Paige, I got you. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Alex. What is she doing here? Is she like your girlfriend now? <gasps> Don't worry, I'm fine. Who told you? Jay, Paige, did you become a lesbian and not tell me? No, no, Hazel, not. A lesbian, hello, Matt, Spinner. I, I've dated lots of guys. Well, then how come Jay saw you kissing Alex? Um, I just got caught up in a moment. And that's all? Of course. It, it was totally stupid. It meant nothing. She means nothing. like girls. I cannot like girls. Why did you kiss me? I don't know. I, I felt bad. I, I didn't want to hurt you. Who needs your pity, huh? I don't. Excuse me while I go uh, flush my head down the toilet. Okay, ready to begin. Can I have everyone's attention, please? Can, every Can I have everyone's attention? Please grab your seats. We're going to begin now. Mm, thank you. At this time last year, Degrassi was struggling out of an awful tragedy. And then came Kevin Smith. He cast our school as the backdrop for his movie, Jay and Silent Bob Go Canadian, eh? And as a token of our gratitude, Mr. Smith, I would like to present you with an honorary diploma. No. But before we make it completely official, our spirit squad would like to send you on your way in style. Paige? What 
What are we gonna do? I haven't come up with anything. Just improvise. Okay. Uh, go. I'm fine. Don't seem fine to me, little girl. Buenos dias, senoritas. That's not your motorcycle helmet. Where's all the Kevlar? I sold it. The motorbike, the helmet, the works, because uh, we're going to Mexico. You, me, Emma, and Manny will be spending a week on the Mayan Riviera at the end of term. But what about Jack? Oh, the grandma's already fighting for him. It's all been taken care of. Oh, I love you so much. I don't deserve such a perfect husband. Stop it, just stop it! Emma? What is it, sweetheart? Tell me what's wrong. <laughs> it's about me. It's something I did. Why is it that every time I turn a corner, there you are? I'm like one of those annoying pop songs. Once I get stuck in your head, I'm impossible to get rid of. What do you want, Jay? Really? My life sucks. OK, I'm kicked out of school. Sean moved away. Spinner's found the Lord. And the only person who ever really got me won't even give me the time of day. I'm not perfect. I know that. But I get you, you know, the real you. Because you and me were the same. You know, why do you, why do you want to fight that? Son, I hate the game. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Miss Michael Chuck. Wanna shoot some horse with us, or are you running off to a spelling bee or something like that? Uh, about the cheer. Mm -hmm. Please know that I've composed more cheery before. Nobody's ever done a cheer of mine, or so by default, your cheer for me was about the best I've ever had, so thank you. I was kind of distracted. Distracted, huh? Let me guess, by some kind of acid tongue, raven hair beauty from the wrong side of the tracks, maybe? Kevin. Jason, your taxi's here. Thank you, Ms. Atsalakis. Let me ask you a question. Do you like this girl? Like, you know, like her, like her. Yeah, I like her, but I'm not gay. My brother is gay. I'm straight. I always have been. Your brother's gay? My brother's gay, too. Even got married to a guy. Really? Yeah, it was the hottest wedding I've ever been to in my life. Really, really cool, hands down. Almost made me want to switch teams. <laughs> Almost. Look, I'm probably the last guy in the world who should be giving you advice on this very subject, but I don't know, you guys seem happy the other night, you know? And that's kind of rare. And whether it's gay, straight, bi, whatever, it's kind of worth investigating a little further, I'd say. Just my two cents. You're just gonna stand there staring at me after I've dropped that wisdom on you? Come on, that's your move? Go chase the girl, silly! Sorry, Emma, but um, I'm gonna go stay at Joey's just for a while. 
No, no, you can't. Go up there and convince her to let you stay. Emma, listen. What I did was horrible, but I would never have done it if there wasn't something wrong with me. I've got to go figure that out. Do you love my mother? Of course. And Jack? Em, he's my son. What about me? You know I do. So what's to figure out? This is nice, huh? Just like old times. I said you could come in and watch TV, Jay. That's all. This doesn't mean anything. Yeah, sure, Lexi. Whatever you say. Chad! Hey! It's been a long time. You've been working hard? <laughs> Hardly working. <laughs> Where are you at, bud? Oh, you know, here and there, just trying to keep myself out of trouble. Uh, give me some sugar, you handsome devil. Hello. <laughs> Look at you. You are looking as beautiful as ever, Emily. Wow, such a charmer. I always knew this one was a keeper, Lexi. Sort of reminds me of old Chad here. <laughs> I am so glad that you finally came to your senses and took Jay back, baby. I haven't taken him back. Well, not yet. No, not ever. I need some air. I've been trying to work up the nerve to ring the doorbell. We don't have one. Welcome to my world. Any room in it for a stupid girl? I already have one of those. Well, how about room for someone who's ready to stop worrying so much about what other people think? There might be room for her. Alex, I'm sorry about before. What I said. Whatever, Paige, it's cool. No, it's not. I said you were nothing to me, which... which is a total lie, because right now... you're pretty much everything. 